Charlotte, what is the biggest problem facing youth today? I think the biggest problem facing youth today is communication with their parents because if youth don't communicate with their parents, they could be possibly doing drugs or alcohol or being with the wrong people. Thank you. Do you think you could make an impact on society? How? I do think I can make an impact on society by getting teens involved with community service. Thank you. Thank you. That was contestant number five, Myra Bogdan. Please welcome our final contestant, contestant number six, Ashley Harold. If you won a million dollars, what would you do? Oh, the choices. A million dollars, I would definitely donate a lot of it to charity, which is important to me because a lot of charities around there need the support and they need people that will support them and give money to them so that they can do what they need to to help the community. I would also help out my family a lot because my family is incredibly important to me and helping them is one of also the most important things that I would do with my money. Thank you very much. That was contestant number six, Ashley Carroll. Weren't they all lovely? Absolutely, I agree. And so well-spoken, too. Some of them more well-spoken than Sandra and I. <laughs> well, with that, we will move on to the evening gown presentation for our Miss San Diego contestants. These ladies will also be joined by our Miss San Diego princesses.
Morgan Gallo.
So I see quite a few lovely little ladies out here this afternoon. And how many of you young girls in the audience saw how much fun the princesses had and want to be one? I bet all of you did. Well, <laughs> Marina wishes she could be a princess. <laughs> well, here's your chance. The Miss California organization is now accepting applications for the princess program for girls between the ages of 5 and 12. The Miss California Princess Program is set for June 24th through 28th at the William Soroya Theater in Fresno. For more information, you can visit MissCaliforniaPrincess.org. And I can tell you, being a princess at Miss California is so much fun. You get to hang out with the teen title holders and spend time with the Miss California and Miss California Outstanding Teen contestants, as well as the reigning title holders. You'll also get to be introduced during the on-stage competition and have your own production number. Who thinks that sounds like fun? Who wishes they could still be a princess? <laughs> it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and something that we encourage. We get to see these girls have such a great time in Fresno and make so many good memories. So definitely check that out, MissCaliforniaPrincess.org. All right, well, we would like to excuse Sandra for just a moment. Now, I know the tabulators have a lot of work to do, so just bear with us for a little while. We have a few special treats for you before we say goodbye to our team, Taylor Cunningham, at the end of her year of Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team. And soon enough, we will find out who your next team will be. Now, Sandra did mention a little bit earlier that Sandra and I were former roommates when um, the first year that I competed at Miss California, and we are so happy to have her on the stage here with us tonight. We are very lucky that she was visiting in town this weekend so that she could join us for the Miss San Diego pageant. Now, Sandra was Miss San Diego in 2010. She was fourth runner-up that year to Miss California and second runner-up the year after. So she progressed each year that she competed and we are very proud of her and her accomplishment in the Miss America program. She is a graduate um, of University of San Diego and she is now spending her time in Pennsylvania um, working as hard as she can out there and hopefully we'll bring her back to San Diego very soon. So please welcome back to the stage Sandra Combs singing Feeling Good. Birds flying high, you don't know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. She earned a bachelor's degree in theater performance, and Marina now works at SeaWorld San Diego as a performer. Her most recent performances include singing in the Shamu's Christmas show, as well as working in the education department as an exhibit narrator and sleepover camp counselor. Please welcome back to the stage one of my very best friends, Marina and Sarah, singing What Did I Have? What did I have?
contestants competing for the titles of Miss San Diego 2014 and Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team 2014. because um, it, it usually goes to the girl that is the overall friendly girl in the group who has been fun, inspiring, and made the rehearsals a great experience. This is always a very special award because it, is, it comes from the, from the young ladies as their peers, and it really shows what this true sisterhood means. Now, your Miss Congeniality for the team contestants is Myra Mondragon. I know you're all really far away, but these teddy bears smell like chocolate. It's kind of making me really hungry, actually. And your Miss Congeniality for our Miss Contestants is Catherine De Silva. The tabulators are actually tabulating the final ballot, so um, we are just hoping for those in a few minutes. 
Let's see what else we have. We have our People's Choice Award. Who went out and voted for People's Choice? All right, thank you so much. Now, this is, we have one overall winner for the People's Choice Award. And with the donations made from the People's Choice Award, we actually have um, the, the pot of money to split between the donation and the winner. And this would be, the total was $110. So one lucky lady gets to take home $55 with her today in cash. Now this is when I'm gonna leave the stage and go home. <laughs> Just kidding, I could really use $55 though. <laughs> and your People's Choice Award is contestant Miss Number One, Catherine De Silva. Yeah. more cash in it, there is actually a $25 prize to the lucky young lady who was your Facebook fan favorite. So this $25 is for Adriana Cortez. The Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team Lou Elkins Award, which is awarded to the top scorer in talent, goes to Myra Mordergan. <laughs> and the Lou Elkins Award for talent for the Misses is Catherine De Silva. We also have another special award, the Interview Award, which is named after former Executive Director Larice Hunter. The interview award for the team is Myra Mondragon. And the Larice Hunter interview award winner for our Miss contestants is Jasmine dunford Lauer. two runners up and our final will obviously be for our Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team and Miss San Diego. Your second runner up to Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team is Mariah Fulinara. Your first runner-up and the recipient of a $150 scholarship who will take over Miss San Diego's place if for any reason she cannot fulfill her duties is Katherine Jacobson. Your Miss San Diego's Outstanding Team and the recipient of a $500 scholarship is Myra Mondragon. 